With a 19 millimeter socket, remove all these plastic nuts that hold on your hubcap, if you have this. Remove the hubcap, and then with a 19 millimeter socket, remove all five of your lug nuts, and then take the wheel off. Next, I want to remove this front bolt on the control arm, which is an 18 millimeter. Don't worry about holding the nut, it stays captive in the subframe. Next, I'm gonna slide a wrench up here, an 18 millimeter, and I'm gonna try and hold the nut at the top while I undo the bolt with an 18 millimeter. There's one. Now you can pull the control arm straight out. Try to focus on pulling this back side off. At the back here, you'll see that it, there's a bolt. This is a 14 millimeter headed bolt. Remove this and then this whole bushing should slide right out. There it is. The new bushing comes with this piece here. If you wanted to take the old one off, if not, you can totally reuse this. Uh, it's just a metal sleeve that basically protects the bushing from debris coming right at it. Because mine is kind of seized on here, I'm just gonna leave it on and reuse it. But typically you would just kind of hammer it off. And uh, like I said, it's just a metal sleeve. So if you wanna reuse it, that's fine. As you slide this new bushing on, make sure that it's facing the right way. It has this side that has the two pieces of rubber that stick out, those go over this uh, sleeve here, so make sure it goes on the right way, like I said. I'm going to put the bolt in, but I'm not going to fully tighten it until the control arm is up in place because number one, I want to tighten it at right height, and number two, it will be a lot easier to spin this bushing around and get it lined up if it's not fully tightened. So I'm going to leave it like this. Let's get the control arm back in. Use a rubber mallet. Line that up, drive this in. This front one lines up, so I'm gonna slide the bolt through. However, before you slide the bolt in, make sure that the nut goes back in. If it fell out for you, for me it did. Go ahead and put it back in here. Just like that, kind of slides into place. And then bring the control arm in, line it up. Slide the bolt through. I'm gonna thread it on a few threads, but I'm not gonna tighten it yet. And now let's line up the back. This almost lines up. There's one. Okay, so I guess they, they don't want to both be in at the same time without the nuts on top. So I'm going to start this rear one in and slide the nut over it. I got this one started. And that means that as soon as I put this in, the first one isn't going to want to fall out. So this one's in. However, the nut goes right underneath the sway bar. so. You have to slide the nut kind of into position first and then thread the bolt into it. Those are done. Let's grab a wrench and a socket and tighten those up. I'm going to start with the forward bolt. Tighten these to 37 foot-pounds. And now an additional 90 degrees each. And what that actually means is a quarter of a turn. I set my torque wrench to degrees, but basically what that means is just a quarter of a turn. Make sure the nut doesn't spin. Okay, that's 90. I'm making sure that the nut on the other side does not spin. Okay, those are both 37 plus 90. The same torque spec applies to this front bolt. However, this one has a bushing that needs to be raised at right height in order to be properly tightened. Otherwise, it will prematurely wear. So, let's get a pole jack underneath. If you're on the ground, you can just use a jack and basically lift up this control arm so it's approximately at right height. Don't go right on the ball joint here, especially if it's a greasable one, because you'll break the fitting, but also you can damage the ball joint. Just go right here on the uh, control arm. Okay, that's about where I want to stop. Bottom it out, and just like the other bushing, torque this to 37 foot-pounds, plus 90 degrees. Right there. This bolt is supposed to be tightened to 32 foot-pounds. I can't really get a torque wrench in here, so I'm just gonna do it by hand and do my best. 
32 foot pounds is not a lot. This is bottomed out right now. I'm just going to go as tight as I can <clears throat> with this wrench and uh, that should be good. And now release your support. Let's get the wheel back on. Start on all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out and torque them to 100 foot pounds. Grab your hubcap, if you have one, and line it up with the valve stem. There's a hole here for it, otherwise the valve stem will get crushed and probably this won't even line up. So go ahead and line that up and then thread in the little caps. This is what holds on your uh, hubcap. And I prefer doing these by hand because if you over tighten them, which is very easy to do with a power tool, then they just strip out and then your hubcap goes flying off uh, while you're driving, which is not great. So. Make those nice and snug by hand and take it for a road test.